Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 guide. Today I'm going to show you how can you get all the required materials to craft tons of camera film. Let's start. Have you noticed how the daily and weekly challenges are quite different since the bucket list came out so now with the new camera system Batanza has been making a lot of challenges that are about taking pictures of certain things or objects animals creatures and so on which means you need a lot of camera film to actually take photos and complete the challenges but that's not so easy especially when you don't have all the required materials so I put this guide together with several locations that you need or you can go to get everything you will need to craft it but let's start from the beginning so first of all you need to complete the mission bucket list if you don't know how to start or do it then feel free to check my guide up there i'm putting the link as usual and as you can see when you complete it you will get a new lenses reward which is very helpful once you have learned the plan, you can head to a Tinker workbench and then go to the camera section and you can simply craft it. Then you need to go to a modify section in the same workbench and there you go. But if you don't have all the required materials for the lenses, don't worry because most of them are the same as the ones for the camera film and I'm going to tell you where to go and how to get them. Anyhow, you need four main ingredients to craft camera film it's a 12 pack per craft and you need adhesive crystal plastic and silver it seems simple enough but some of them are not so easy to get but it doesn't matter i'm going to show you how can you get everything adhesive is the first ingredient and probably the easiest one to get so I strongly advise you to simply craft um, vegetable starches. Head here to the Sunday uh, cabins where you have this little farm right here and you have everything you need to craft it. You have tattoos, you have a corn and you also have some multi fruits. Don't forget to equip your green thumb because it doubles the chance to uh, get flora. It doesn't apply to multi fruits, but to tato and corn it does. It's quite helpful. Anyway, you will also need some purified water to craft this, and you should have plenty in your base. If you don't, then please get a water purifier. And I think this is the most reliable way to get adhesive right now, and pretty much since ever. But there are other two methods that are, well, also viable and I'm going to show them right after this one but before anything else I want you to know about the cobbleton farm which also has everything you need to craft the vegetable starches the corn the multi fruit and the tattoo is everything in here so this is an alternative farming spot for you Another very smart way to farm adhesive is to go here to the freak show and you can find a reliable source of honey bees. So all you have to do is server jump, kill them, collect your experience and the loot which contains adhesives as well. They normally drop one to three per kill, which is quite handy. But if everything I just presented you doesn't really suit you, then, well, just journey around and do what you usually do and focus on killing feral ghouls because they often drop economy wonder glue, wonder ghoul, and duct tape as well. Moreover, you should search containers and lockers, everything that might have loot inside, and you will probably find plenty of adhesive. That's another great way to get your source normally i never run out of adhesive because i'm always looting stuff around but when i do i mostly use the first method because i have all the plants in my base so it's very easy for me to craft it 
The second ingredient that we need to craft the camera film is crystal, and that's not so easy to get. But at the Rubka Research Center, you can find some crystal, okay, it's not a crazy amount of it, but you can find items that contain crystals. Now, you need to know which ones drop these ingredients, and it's mostly uh, broken pro snap cameras, magnifying glasses, and even some vials that have crystals inside. Now, you can also get it from microscopes, and there is like two of them in here. Uh, but the bad part, or the not so good part, is that you can't really serve a jump for these items, because most of them are in the world, they are not inside containers. And as you probably know, once you loot the items on top of things, they take around 24 hours to respawn. And in here, I just got the magnifying glass that was on the top of this table. And as I said, there is also two microscopes here. One is generally in one of the rooms and the other is in the big lab room in the zero floor. Now, I found this crystal liquor decanter in the file containers right here. And I think it's a safe spot because I found it twice. But it's not 100% spawn, so uh, that's something that you should know. In terms of uh, safes, you should know that you can often find a gold or silver item inside locked safes. That's also a useful information, I think. And in this room, there's the second a microscope. Sometimes there's uh, also a magnifying glass. And ghouls also drop cameras. So make sure to kill them and to check what are they dropping. As you can see, here it is, a broken camera. And that's pressure crystals that we very much need. If you don't want to search this place inside out, then make sure to focus on ghouls. They are in many different places, uh, like when you do one violent night. And as you can see, that broken camera is a drop. They drop it quite often. So that's also an alternative way to get some crystals. Plastic, plastic, plastic. We need a lot of plastic for camera film and you can get as much as you want at the Watauga High School. So this is my favorite place to farm plastic because you just have to come here to the canteen area and pick up all the plastic forks, spoons, and knives, plates, everything that you find plastic. There are tons of them. Just check the tables. If you can find any the tables, then check the floors because sometimes when you fight or someone else fought to ghouls inside or mutants, the plastic stuff will go flying away and end up in the floor. You should also check the kitchen because there's also plenty of plastic tools in there. And with just one run, you should get at least a hundred plastic here. That should be enough for now. Last but not the least, we need some silver. And I think the best way to get silver scraps is to take over a workshop, such as this one at the abandoned Bog Town. This is a very high level workshop and you will often find epic enemies here like high super mutants and scorch peas and even behemoths from time to time but the whole point of taking the workshop is because there is a silver deposit in here and you can easily mine it once the workshop is yours now you need some materials to uh, craft the extractor and then a generator to actually power it up so this also has a gold, but we don't really need it. We only need the silver, which is right here. So make sure to go to resources in the building mode. And then you can add the extractor right here. Then you will need um, 
large generator to power it up. The medium and low are not enough, so make a big one. And then just add or attach a cable to the extractor and wait, wait and more waiting. You should have some skillful scrap waiting for you. Don't forget to lock the extractor, otherwise other players might come by and steal your loot. We don't want that to happen, especially because it takes quite some time for the extractor to get some silver. Another way to get silver is to simply go around and collect silver stuff, but I don't think there's a specific spot to get a lot of silver things. Maybe there is, but I didn't really find one. And that's pretty much it. Once you have collected these four ingredients, it's time to head back to a Thinker workbench and craft your camera film as much as you want or need. And good luck with your daily and weekly photo challenges. Don't forget to take some macros with your new lenses because it's really fun to do so. As usual, Thank you so much for watching until this point. I hope now you know how to make tons and tons of camera film for your adventures and it won't be a hassle for you anymore. I am Arthur Branco, thank you so much. And if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to leave a comment below. It's always welcome. See you in the next video. Bye bye.